Mike here. We're going to do a quick walk around of this 2010 Sportster. As long as I've had this bike, I haven't made a video of it, and I've had some requests, so it seems like now is the time. Uh, pretty good bike. It's a classic, so, or I'm sorry, the custom, so it's got the bigger tank, three and a half gallon, I think it is, whereas on the standard, it's two. Kind of different look. You know, you got crash bars on this thing, aftermarket exhaust, aftermarket bags, quick detached windshield, you know, foot pegs, crash bar. That's a great thing to have on any bike, really. Wheels are in great shape. Nice little fender trim on the back of it. It's just got a little, just little extra accents being the custom. Um, but really set up for touring. I mean, it's a smaller bike, but hell, that's you. You know what you need. This is the one that's set up to go. I believe the bars are stock on it. Like I said, the windshield's quick detached, so you know, sunny days you take it off. It's gonna be cold or rainy. You can put it back on real quick. Um, interesting thing about this guy is it's got a Pingle air shifter which I haven't been able to figure out how to make work. Um, yeah, there's the name of that, Pingle. But they're about a two grand add-on. And all it is, is I guess for people who don't want to shift with their foot, you hit this gadget and it shifts for them. Um, but of course the foot, the foot shifter still works. It's not like it's by blast or anything. Figured I'd leave that, let that go with the bike. If you like it, you can fix it, great. If not, you probably sell it on eBay, get some extra money for you there. Um, we're good shape, man. No real cosmetic damages at all on this bike. It's nice kind of red with a nice little bit of flake. Not too bad. It's kind of hard to see on the phone. And, of course, you've got, like, you know, some striping here and stuff like that. But uh, 18,000 miles on this thing. Let me crank it up. I haven't started it in about a week or two, but it should crank right up due to the fuel injection. Get a 18,000 on this thing, and she is in neutral, so... There she goes. Not a stock exhaust. It's not too loud. It is aftermarket made to mine. It sounds like it's got the baffles in it, which I'm sure you can take out if you wanted to. It's just, you know, up to you. It's dirty when you get on it, but at idle, it's not really loud at all. It's a good bike if uh, you don't want to piss off your neighbors, I guess. But everything on it is pretty. I had to ride this one for about two weeks. I, I don't actually have a car, so I ride these big baggers around to get groceries and stuff. And there was a week where I had sold every single big bagger I had, so I started riding this thing around. And it's pretty functional, man. I had no issues with it. Bags work great. You know, I can see uh, it's got two up pegs on the rear. You can easily ride two people on this thing. Might want to upgrade the seat. I mean, it's not the most comfy seat, but it looks sleek. There's the right bike for each person and each ride, and this is definitely one I could see being right for several occasions. So, if you got any interest in it, uh, I believe it's listed at 59 right now. You know, we're way under the Harley dealer prices, and we don't add the warranties and the service fees and all the you know extra four thousand dollars worth of crap they put on the loan if you finance. So, uh, you know, come check us out.